Well, hello there. Let me show you how to create a colorful silhouette lighting composition as we see here. To do so, besides the product with the materials on and everything, we need three planes. One for the ground, one for the wall, and one that we can put the area light material to. So to add that in, I go to edit, add geometry, and add a plane. Just like that. So I hit OK here in the real-time view, and then let me right-click here in the geometry view and select move selection. And um, I'll scale it up like that. And then I will take the red handle just to make it wider, just like that. And maybe, oops, let me take the blue handle as well and make it a bit wider or deeper, just like that. And then I will take the blue arrow and move it so, it's, uh, so the chair is sitting closer to the edge, like that. So then I hit OK. And I right click the ground plane and select duplicate part. And let me right click here and select move selection. Move it over here, hold down shift while I drag the red circle to rotate it 90 degrees. And let me move it up a bit and closer to this edge here. So we need it to be close to the ground plane, but still have a gap that we can have some lighting coming up through just like that. So last plane we need is for the lighting. So I right click my ground plane again, select duplicate part, select a uh, right click here and select move selection, move it down and scale it in with the blue handle here. So something like that and rotate it just a bit. So if you're ever experienced that your part is being stretched when you rotate it like that, uh, make sure to change the axis from local to global and you won't Get that. All right, position it here around the gap. I think this is good and hit OK. Now we just need to add the different materials. Uh, hit OK over here to the move tool. And uh, for my ground plane and wall, I just want a basic gray plastic. So I double click the material here, change the material type in the material properties to plastic, change the color to something grayish like that and maybe a roughness of one or 0.1. Then I shift left click and shift right click to copy it to the wall. And for my plane down here, I double click on that. So I will draw to the material properties of this material and I change the material type to area light. Change the color to maybe a very saturated blue. I think that would look cool. And then I add in some more power. So maybe 10,000 and we start to see some lighting coming through here. And to get that silhouette effect, we need to decrease uh, the lighting from our environment. So I will go to my environment tab, select my lighting environment and take the brightness down to zero. All right, starts to look cool now. So now we only have the lighting from this area plane and uh, I'll double click it and maybe add a bit more power. We can switch to watt as well, for example, if we don't want to add or type in those big numbers. So maybe 200. I think that looks quite nice. So that's about it. Now you just have to uh, find a great camera angle. I think in this case, this might look quite cool. So maybe it's burning out a bit too much down here. So let me go ahead and, and dial that back a bit. Here we go. And that's about it. Hope that you can use this technique for an upcoming project in the future. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And uh, until next time, take care.